Hello and very warm welcome everyone, it's Marta, welcome back. This is gonna be a quick video and I know I said I will post something else today and I actually have the other video ready, like I've recorded it and I have this fancy upgraded version of the card done, however it's so long, the video is like nearly hour and a half so uh, I think I'll have to edit it but either way I'm run out of the space on my phone and I had this video uh, which was recorded before uh, this card so I've decided I'm gonna release this one and that way uh, I'll have something uh, for everyone's waiting and then also I could kind of get back some memory on my phone so I could edit the other video now I found my uh, I was cleaning up and I, once I was putting stuff in my uh, scrap drawer I found a couple of the pieces with this uh, like a uh, old paper uh, this is a very old collection uh, one of the uh, collection from craft o'clock i used to work with their uh, design team uh, i don't remember the name or uh, the collection oh love me forever i'm just looking on the on my shelf so the collection is called love me forever and i had couple cut off pieces which i've decided okay i'm gonna make a quick card and that was yesterday once i've created those flowers i still had some time uh, before me and my son we were heating to his swimming classes in a swimming pool i thought okay let me spend a few minutes just crafting more so that's why i set my clock for 20 minutes and I've decided to play with these pieces. I have this packaging uh, paper, it's very thin, but it has this very interesting, like a gold mustardy color. And I thought, this is fabulous. You're not always have to craft with the uh, paper, like a crafting paper. This is a packaging paper, but I love the color. It has this very interesting shade and it's matching up perfectly with this uh, scrap pieces so I am creating the card the card is four and a half inch wide I believe so this is slightly bigger than the DL size like a slightly uh, slightly wider and this will uh, be going into bigger envelope that's that's it it's like if you're past the size of DL you can always upgrade the envelope to A5 and I have this mandala circle. This is cut off from the like main page. That was 12 by 12 scrapbook page of the uh, collection paper. And I used it ages ago. And that was the circle was lying in my drawer waiting for the perfect moment. And I think this is the perfect moment just now. I'm trying to cut a border around it. But then I just realized uh, I actually have something else. Uh, last minute, oh, I should cut off this bit, uh, but uh, I'm just seeing it once I'm editing the video. So I'm sorry, nothing has happened on the screen. I actually went to my shelf to grab another set because I last minute I thought I have this fancy circle and this is the die uh, the die coming from the card making magic it's very old and I'm sorry it's no longer available uh, but the truth is that there is lots of the fancy circle shapes like even in the craft stash store they do have those fancy nesting dies from creative craft product so these are having this lace outer edge and they will be working here perfectly it's not always possible for me to kind of be, uh, you know uh, buy everything novelty which is coming out there and i also think this is not good as well if i'll buy something and i'm perfectly happy with it like a die or a product and even though later on uh, the die will go on retirement in the meantime there's lots of different crafting companies who are releasing something similar similar looking not exactly the same but something similar so this is something you can supplement and use if you would like or probably the best way will be just check your drawers check your stash whatever like however you uh, you know hold your dice and have a look browse with what you have because probably you may find something which you'll be happy to use instead 
And uh, this is the great advice I'm given to myself each time whenever I see something in, in YouTube or like, you know, in the post like Facebook or Instagram. And I can see this, oh, this is a brand new set, a uh, new release, uh, you know, die. And I'm just like, oh, I love it so much. I love it. And I'm instantly like, you know, going to the page thinking I'm going to order it. But then I have this rule before I'll buy something. I have to prove myself that I don't have it. Like uh, I'm trying to see like too many times I've bought something. Oh, this is nice butterfly dye. And I have pretty much like five or ten very, very similar one. So right now I am on this kind of a, I would not say frugal phase, but I went to the point where I have so many goodies that I'm thinking like, okay, Marta, you have to prove yourself that you have nothing very similar and then you are allowed to, to buy something. And of course, from time to time, I am having my little allowance for crafting and then I am spending it. Uh, but that way, I usually spend it on the things which I truly love. And I know I, this is something which I will be using over and over again. Uh, so this is what I learned uh, through all these years of crafting is that uh, it's always good to keep a balance between uh, what you spend and what you play with because having too much product and I know that I'm saying that from the perspective of the person who already has everything I would not say everything but I do have a lot my friends uh, I know uh, it's easy to make a card when you have all colors all dyes all stamps and everything but sometimes you reach through the point in gathering crafting supplies that you feel overwhelmed and I know my happy phase of crafting was actually on the very, very beginning. I'm still very happy. I don't want to say uh, like sound. I'm, I'm not happy at all. No, I am blessed. I'm happy and I'm absolutely perfect. But the thing is, when I was crafting and I have this like little box and I was crafting from kitchen countertop, like I had this uh, countertop, which was going through like a site, like a breakfast table. And uh, I was crafting there. And each time after I finish my crafting uh, session, I had to clean up because it was my, it was in my kitchen, so I couldn't left the crafty bits lying around, and I was crafting in a clean area, and I wasn't feel overwhelmed. I knew exactly because I was packing, unpacking all my materials. I knew exactly what I had each time, so it was so easy to craft and you know stay focused on crafting rather than feeling like oh I need to organize this oh I need to clean up here oh I need to do this and that because the more stuff you have the more responsibility over those things you are having like you know more often you have to clean more often you have to kind of sort things out because once you use them you're obviously creating a little bit mess like I am messy crafter so I'm just like I'm terrible for that. Now, my friends, I've cut this uh, mutton layer because I'm focusing on other things, but I hope you don't mind this chit-chatty video. I think those things are also important to kind of, you know, talk about it because uh, too many times I just feel like uh, I'm not sharing enough insight perspective and that way that could be something valuable for, for a new crafter who's been thinking like, oh, I need to buy this, I need to buy that, buy that and I'm not going to make like, you know, uh, I'm not going to make a pretty card if I won't have those materials. You can pre make pretty card at every stage, at every level of your uh, stash, whether you have like a lots of supplies or li very little. There's so many different things you can supplement and please don't feel stressed about anything. Now, uh, I've placed a little piece of the uh, white card behind this cardboard because initially I put the glue and I try to glue it on the card base. But then I thought if I will glue it to the card, card base, I won't be able to trim this frame, this circular frame as I want to. So that's why uh, I've took it out and I've placed the white card uh, underneath. So the glue, it's not going to be, you know, gluing to my crafting mat. And here I am adding those layer of the doilies, like one on top of another, and I'm actually playing with it. Uh, the small one comes from the In Love Art Shop, which I received uh, some time ago. I received some products 
uh, from them for testing and i really like that one i think it has this very nice size and especially for dl size cards so i've been also using it uh, very often and then this larger one is from the card making magic just in case but again i think the the card making magic is retired already so here you can see i'm playing and the timer goes up to three minutes i'm not actually gonna make this card in 20 minutes i think i went slightly above like 23 minutes or something but it would not matter the timer here is actually and this is something i forgot to tell you about the timer here is just for my self-control and this is a very good exercise for people who have the trouble with uh, decision making like i was like that for a very long time i would be focusing like 10 minutes on on color of the ribbon and here uh, i'm just trying to share like you can use the leftover piece for the inside of the card and have this additional like extra element uh, for for dressing up the inside and now once i chop this piece i can then re-add the glue back again and place it on top and i'm kind of thinking like should i go this way that way and the last minute i'm just like no i'm changing it and i'm putting this doily on the upper side uh, upper left side instead of the uh, lower uh, right side it's just something you know um sometimes we can change the thing last minute if you think that visually something is looking better then why not switching it now here's the flowers i've made those flowers purposely for the making the fancy card but when i had that 20 minute card i was like oh i really like them so i've just you know i stole a few like three i think four i stole four of them and then uh, later on i actually redo them so i have the flowers ready well the card is already done the fancy one the part two of the uh, upgrading uh, the other card it's done i just need to edit the video and i don't have the space on my phone this is the downsize working with the phone well there are newer phones which have in that terabyte or something else like very large storage but these are expensive mine is only having like 120 eight gigabytes so that's all i need to i have to use and sometimes when i have like, like one or two videos in the queue for editing i'm running out of the space so this is why i'm trying to get rid of this smaller video because i know like i have a room to edit that and then otherwise i would have to uh, like um, i would have to um, what am i saying i will have to delete that one uh, in order to be able to edit the bigger one so i thought okay i'm just gonna release that one i'm gonna put it up on my youtube channel and then hopefully fingers crossed i will have enough space for editing uh, the other one and now i am adding this beautiful greenery uh, plus these flowers and this sentiment inside this is a chipboard quote which says uh, 100 years this is our polish way of saying like uh, like happy birthday instead of saying happy birthday we say like oh we wish you 100 years like to live like 100 years uh, but it's just something you know i am in poland so uh, i'm hope you're not gonna be uh, mad about this but i'm gonna be making a lot more cards with the polish sentiments because that way i can use them for a family and friends uh, but usually it doesn't matter the sentiment is just something you add on the card so you could put whatever uh, you like now i'm lastly i'm finishing off with the string and uh, i love this one this is uh, this is my addiction like if there will be crafting company producing the strings uh, let me know because i want to apply for design team like <laughs> i hope they will take me on board because i love the string and this is just my addiction and no uh, i don't have the string in every color of the rainbow but i do have a little bit collection of them so here uh, it's me the card is done uh, so basically that was 23 minutes i've created i hope you enjoy it and if you did please don't forget to give a like say hi and of course share the video have a wonderful day and i'll see you tomorrow Bye bye